Holy cow, welcome to Donnie's Hangout Adventures. Now, this will be another delayed video. Um, I record this on Saturday, so hopefully by Monday or maybe or even Tuesday, I'll upload this one because one of the biggest franchises still going. I don't watch the new Creed movies, never will, but one of the biggest franchises. Rocky. Uh, you know, most of the original Rockies, one through five, are really good. I even like Rocky Five. I like all of the Rockies. But unfortunately, people get older. Carl Weathers, who played Apollo Creed in the Rocky series. And you know, my hatred. I hate sometimes screenwriting with movies because they like to create a shock value. Um, I fell out of love with Rocky movies. I still love the original Rocky movies, especially the first three. But I felt like when they Rocky IV, when they killed Apollo Creed off, did that sort of kill Rocky movies? Yes. Yes, it did. Now what I'm getting at is Carl Weathers, 76, he ended up dying. They said he died of natural causes. Wonder what he died from. Now, now going back to the Rocky series, Stallone, and people forget, 1976, Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers, they were unknown. Nobody knew who these two actors were. You, there was no Wikipedia back then. Both were unknown. Stallone barely had any credits to his name. Carl Weathers had been in about three movies. Most of it's uncredited. And when he got the role for Apollo, it pretty much, you could almost say Carl Weathers stole that movie. His performance was so much better than Stallone's. Nothing against Stallone's acting. His acting wasn't going to be where it is where it is now. It wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't there in 1976. But I thought Carl Weathers' acting was clearly head and shoulders above anybody in that film. I always thought that. That's why they brought him back for a second and a third one. And unfortunately, they killed him off in the fourth one. They shouldn't have done that. Now here's the thing, Stallone, I don't know if anybody knows this, he wrote the script for Rocky. Did you know that? All the characters that he thought up came from his brain or I should say stole inspiration because even Stallone has admitted this. Stallone has admitted this. He based Apollo Creed, if you watch Muhammad Ali's actions and the way he talked, it's pretty much, that is Apollo Creed. That is Apollo Creed playing Muhammad Ali. Rocky, he based his character off of a, a boxer called um, Chuck, let me write it down, Chuck Wepner. Complete unknown. He was an underdog going against world heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali. And nobody thought the guy had a chance. Did this sound familiar? Because it was based, it's what, what Stallone based Rocky off of. And this Chuck Wepner went almost 15 rounds with one of the greatest boxers in history in Muhammad Ali. That says a lot. That says a lot that you are an unknown. That's pretty much what Stallone based the move based based the movie off of was this Chuck Wepner versus Ali fight. You see that happened in 1975. Stallone ended up writing the script pretty quickly because it came to his mind what he wanted the movie to be about. And when they were doing auditions, a lot of people auditioned for Apollo Creed. And Weathers ended up getting it because he was very charismatic. That's the thing that never left Carl Weathers. He would get roles in movies. And when I think of roles, when it comes to mind, besides Apollo Creed, 
what's something else that comes to mind with Garl Weathers? Well, I have to say, oh yeah, before I go on, I forgot to mention this. Weathers, before he pursued acting, did play in the NFL with the Oakland Raiders, if you can believe that. He, played, he only played like seven games in the NFL, and then when he officially retired and knew it wasn't, he wasn't good enough to continue playing in the, in the NFL, he started pursuing his acting career. Now, moving on from that, uh, what's some other stuff that I think of with Carl Weathers? Well, I think of 1987, the hit movie Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of Schwarzenegger's best underrated movies. And, you know, um, Carl Weathers was in that with Schwarzenegger and Jesse Ventura and uh, other, a few other names. And, and it's a very good movie. I haven't seen it in quite a few years, but that's something you associate with Carl Weathers. And, of course, later in his career in acting, of course, everybody remembers how funny he could be. He was actually really funny. He didn't, get, he didn't do a lot of um, comedy roles. But he got his chance, 1996, with Adam Sandler's, one of my favorite movies of Adam Sandler's, I think it is my favorite movie, going to think about it, is Happy Gilmore, Go to Your Happy Place. Yeah, he played Chubbs, and a very good role for him. Have you noticed the two movies I picked? He died in both of them. He died in both of those movies. The same thing that he did, it happened in Rocky IV. He died in that movie, which wasn't one of the better Rocky movies. And something else you don't know. Did you know he did voiceover work? Yes. He had a very booming voice. That's the one thing I always liked about Carl Weathers. He had a very booming voice, sort of like James Earl Jones. That I remember when I was first playing Mercenaries. Way back on the original Xbox, in 2005, so you get in the DMZ zone, you know, you're controlling one of your only three characters they had in the game, the original Mercenaries, and one of the first missions you do in the game is from this Colonel guy. And I remember, I remember playing this game back in 05, and I was like, you know, that voice, that voice is very distinguishable. And I remember think, thinking then, I said, that sounds exactly like Carl Weathers. No matter how much you, how much you do voiceovers and try to distinguish the voices or cover up the voices on who it is, you can pretty much tell who it is. And I remember thinking, that has to be Carl Weathers. And the more I played that game, because it's a great game, I, it's backwards compatible, which I can't access it right now, but, because I, I bought it and downloaded it. But I thought, there's no, there, there's no guarantee, there, there, there's no doubt in my mind that that is Carl Weathers. Years later, when I'm looking up stuff on Wikipedia or whatever, I was right. It, it was Carl Weathers. I mean, and he didn't appear a lot in the game. He might have had a total of, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of dialogue in the entire game. But the entire game of it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty evident that that is Carl Weathers. And you know what? It's a sad... It was a sad day when I heard about this yesterday, which was Friday. My wife sent me the oh the screenshot of it, and I was like, um, I'll probably do a video on it and upload it next chance, chance I get. And well, rest in peace to the one and only Apollo Creed, Chubbs, Colonel Al Dixon. Um, if you have a favorite movie of um, Carl Weathers. Um, leave it in the comment section. I mean, of course, most people are going to say Rocky. You know, of course, that's always going to be in that people's list. Um, another movie that I didn't mention that um, was very underrated was a movie called Action Jackson. That was one of my favorite movies that Carl Weathers did. And you know what? Well, rest in peace, Carl Weathers, and I hope you finally get to go to your happy place. That's all, folks.